Hey, what's up guys? It's Jake and Richie with Sonic Dad, and we're here today to talk about project number 81. 81, the Sonic Aerobat Control Stick Mark II. <laughs> This is an improvement. Um, we're using a larger aircraft. You can buy these pre-painted kits for 10 or 15 bucks. Other than the larger scales, you also have retractable landing gear. But in this project, um, we show you how to make this control stick removable so the child can play with it with or without. Yeah, it's made from a dollar store hairbrush and a wood dowel and a little piece of pen. So the actual build video, um, click here to go watch how to put this together. The other thing that's cool about this scale of plane is you can also motorize it. So you can see this little DR1 here, I've got a motor in it, little AA battery in the bottom. I've actually got a little Lego figure pilot that we got from the Lego store. In another Sonic Builders Club video, I will show you how to motorize your airplane if you want to do that. So, so stay tuned for that video, it'll be coming out in a couple of weeks. Yep. And let's, uh, let's use these things. Okay. Ready? Whoa! I want it! <laughs> What's fun about this project is it gives the child a control stick that's behind the airplane. So without it, your hand kind of covers the tail. I never liked that as a kid. This gets the handle out back where you can actually see the plane. The other thing that's fun is to use it in combination with the masking tape airport. This is project 10. So this airport is made out of painter's masking tape and that's important because the tack on the tape is pretty low. So when your kids are done playing with it, you can just peel it up. So the project instructions for project 10, which would show you uh, what all the markings are for, what they mean, and I found the kids really like uh, the realism of this layout when they understand what all the markings are for. We also have uh, in the instructions what the, the pilot uh, phonetic alphabet is all about and how the planes are numbered. And there's also a sample of communication between the tower and the airplanes, which is fun because the parent could be the control tower and the kids can be the airplanes. Now, you can just call the uh, communication out or you could use a, uh, a cheap walkie-talkie or you could use a couple of cell phones on speaker mode. Ellie, taxi to runway three, hold short for landing traffic. 17, runway three, holding short. Three. It's always fun to have a control tower at your airport and Wes and his brother Ben built this one out of Lego. Sorry Goose, but it's time to buzz the tower. Alright guys, thanks for joining us today. Be sure to check out the build video for this project where we show you how to put these things together. And also be watching for the next episode of the Sonic Builders Club where I will show you how to put electric motors in these airplanes. So that's it for us. We'll see you next time. Unique New York. Unique New York. <laughs> okay. Hey, what's up guys? It's Jake and Richie with Sonic Dad and we are here today to talk about project... Whoa, hey, who's calling now? <laughs> Let's turn that one down. Thanks for watching. If you like what we're doing, click here to subscribe to our channel. Or click here to visit our website.